Hello, welcome back. We are on our very last section of our prayer journal, Testimonies. I just want to tell you where I'm coming from as far as testimonies go. <clears throat> I believe that this is a judicial term, and even in the Bible, that that's what it means, that we are testifying in a court of law. We're testifying eyewitnesses of what we know and what we have seen. So that's what we're going to journal about. I'm just grabbing a few stickers out of my book that have a legal seal type feel to them, and I'm adding them to my page. What I'm going to write about are things that I would stand up before anyone and testify to. They are my testimony. If you have ever ordered anything from me, you have probably seen these um, seals. I ordered a stamp and I designed it to say what I wanted to say, which is basically that Jesus is God and truth is real. <laughs> it's uh, The Jewish understanding of truth is that it is God's seal. So that's where the inspiration came from. But I'm going to use this in my journal with a piece of ribbon. And I'm just going to cut a piece of ribbon, put it together like you know, like you see, and put the seal right over top of it. Just another judicial thing, just another legal um, understanding that my testimony has legal consequences. I do believe that this is what, in the book of Revelation, where it says they overcame by the power of the blood, and the word of their testimony. I think this is what it's talking about. It's what do you actually believe? What would you stand up in court and testify to? This is how we overcome. By what we believe enough to stand up before people and testify about. I'm going to add um, just my words. Utilizing these uh, circle reinforcement, hole reinforcements. What I've done is taken a page of them and just added watercolor over top of them. It's just a simple, easy way to create some stickers that you can use in your journaling. And I'm going to write on these pages what I would testify to in a court of law. That God is a healer. That He gave me the gift of the Holy Ghost. That He answers prayer. That Jesus loves me. That He healed my broken heart. God brought and brings me life, and that truth is in his word. I think we have to settle some things in our spirit, settle some things in our heart of what we actually believe and what is actually a testimony that we have. Also, I will be adding to this section answered prayers, because that is a testimony that he gives us when he answers a prayer. We can write it down in here. We can look back over the victories. There's many times in the scripture where the Lord speaks to the children of Israel to write down the victories so they don't forget, so that they'll remember his faithfulness. So fill up your testimony section with things that you would testify to and with answered prayers and utilize this prayer journal every day. Flip through the pages. Let the inspiration of the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you down prayer channels, down prayer paths that are unique to you because this is your unique prayer journal, your unique prayer journey, and your unique relationship with the Lord. If you haven't had a chance, go back and watch all these videos. They're very short and concise. And learn how to build your own prayer journal. There are 13 different sections that we journaled through and filled out. And you can create, with or without my prayer journal kit, your own prayer journal. But if you're interested, you can purchase a prayer journal kit at greenministries.com. Please share your completed journals or journals in progress. I would love to see 
how you're utilizing these tips and tools and what your prayer journals look like. Thanks for joining me on this journey and I pray God richly bless your prayer life. Oh.